Hi everyone. Uh, well, this is it. Turn a little this aside. This is Bob's new tank. Uh, I really like it. I knew it would look good uh, with the sand. Uh, it's a really simple tank. I mean, I, I really didn't do a ton to it, and I really, uh, to be honest, I really want to try planting this tank better because I mean it looks really crappy right now just because there aren't many plants but I mean for the hardscape I like I like this piece of driftwood I used it in my 20 gallon my old one if you guys didn't know um Bob is moving in he's actually inside right now uh I saw him uh here see I have the hole there because uh you know here's my bed so at night I can just rest here and just Look at it. This is like from my view right now, pretty much. Uh, up oh, and there's Bob right now, sticking his head out. <laughs> He's probably curious. He's probably like, "What's going on here? Who's taking video of me?" And he does that a lot. He just kind of puts his head up, and then he just like rests there, and he doesn't move for a while. Uh, yeah, he's coming out now. See, there he goes. So, uh, as you see, he's very happy in here. I really like him. <laughs> well, obviously, I like him. I like Bob. Uh, I, I think he likes staying down there just because, of course, the current is up here and he doesn't like current that much. And that is why I added that little cup thingy. And now he's checking us up. What the hell? Oh. I don't know what that was. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, I mean, this is, I hope this is going to be a short video, but I, as you can see, Bob loves his tank, he's, sometimes he hangs around in this corner, and he just, like, kind of, you know, like, rests there, like, you know how betas do that, I don't know, for all you beta lovers, they kind of just, like, sit at the top, and just, like, stay there, <laughs> uh, and I really like it, because it is tall, uh, Bob's tank used to be, like, way down there, like, this tall, and, uh, you know, and I couldn't really be able to see it that much, just, you know, to see it, I would have to, like, come down here and kind of, like, squat down. Uh, but I like this because it, it comes up, like, right to my eye level. My eyes are, like, around here or to the top of the tank. So I have this nice viewing area for them. Now, update on this tank. I'm really upset. Uh, not about the tank, but uh, my female ram died yesterday. Uh, and I don't know why. I mean, all the other fish are doing fine. Uh, she just died. And there's some algae on the glass here, but... Yeah, that might be getting into an algae boom. Hopefully not, though. Normally, I really don't get much algae on the glass. I really need to get some more autos for this, for this tank. Really. So they can clean it, because I, uh, I don't feel like cleaning it. And it's impossible to get off, because it's like that really hard algae. Uh, well, um, plan on getting some moss for that. Uh, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, I, I, I've had this for like a week now, a little bit less. Oh, and I added the catfish from the other tank, just to add some action in there, and and to kind of to get Bob used to them also, because, uh. Oh, by the way, as you see, his fins, I mean, not his fins, his gills have really cleared up, uh, especially when I added the tank. I mean, they weren't looking too good, but as soon as I added him to the tank, he was looking great. Uh, so, I think, I think, you know, as long, you know, a bigger tank, it's really healthier. Uh, basically, you just got a 100% water change, because <laughs> I put him in a brand new tank. I did let cycle for like three days. I mean, not you know, not like the long period of time cycle that some people do, but I cycled it for a short period of time, uh, mainly because I did take the water out of that tank. So that tank, that tank's all refreshed. It, it got a 40% water, I don't know, 60% water change the other day. It was like down to here. So this tank should be looking better now. Uh, I added some fertilizers. I mean, the only kind I have left is uh, uh, this crappy kind, the leaf zone, which really is not great fertilizer at all. I mean, I like it. It works. It's fertilizer, but yeah. And uh, 
my Chinese algae eater now. If I in the back, I don't know if this is just me being paranoid, like always, but see that little like cut. I don't know what that's from, and that could just be an open sore, which is bad. I'll keep an eye on that. Um, that could, you know, oh, great algae down here. Man, it's annoying. Here we go. While I'm at it, I'll just finish it, but uh, that's pretty much the video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy Bob's Tank. Uh, oh, and by the way, here's a little tip. When I'm scrubbing algae off, uh, you just rub it. I don't think it does a trick, so I kind of like twist it and stuff. Twist it and kind of, you know, scrub it in real good. Whoa. I also, which, I don't know, sometimes it works. Ah, oh, come on, you piece of crap. I better not be getting into an algae bloom. Uh, and as you see, I'm probably going to end up moving the catfish back because there's poop everywhere, there's plants everywhere. Uh, and yeah, I really want to get one of those plecos, but like a dwarf pleco. If you know what I mean by dwarf pleco. Uh, I forget what they're, the bristle nose plex, yeah. Because uh, I heard they don't get that big. Some only get like six inches, which is great. I mean, six inches is only like... Uh, six inches is pretty big, but like four inches is better. Like, I like this size, which I would like that that big clean algae for me. Little like scrubber he has. This video is getting long, so I'm just gonna end it. Bye.